Welcome to our Python programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many newcomers encounter when working with arrays. Our viewer is curious about the difference between using array indexing with square brackets and the comma notation. Let's dive into the specifics of their question. Our viewer mentions that they typically use array J for accessing elements, but they ran into trouble with a script that used numpy dot dot with array I and array I. They found that the first notation caused a shape error, while the second worked perfectly. Let's break down why this happens. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the difference between array indexing in Python. When you use array i, you're accessing the entire row at index i, but it returns a one-dimensional array. On the other hand, when you use array i, you're still accessing the same row, but it maintains the two-dimensional structure of the array. This is crucial for operations like dot products. Now let's look at the numpy dot function. It requires the dimensions of the arrays to align correctly. The first argument should be a 1D array, while the second should also be a 1D array. When you used nump.p0qq0, the first argument was a 1D array, but the second was incorrectly accessed, leading to a shape error. This is why the second method works. In summary, always remember that using a comma in the indexing, like array i, helps maintain the two-dimensional structure, which is essential for operations in NumPy. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The difference between array i and array i lies in how they handle data. The colon creates a shallow copy of a list, but when used with arrays, it creates a new view of the same data. In a 2D array, the colon acts as a placeholder to select entire dimensions. For example, A0 selects the first row and all columns, while A hal 0 selects the first column and all rows. A0 is equivalent to oats, which means taking a view of the first row. It's important to note that A0 is not the same as A hat 0. It actually equals. The expression A is a view of the entire 2D array. Lastly, both numpy.p00 and numpy.dot.dot yield the same result, demonstrating that these indexing methods can be interchangeable in certain contexts. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.